This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on departmental accounts. I wish to solve one sum on departmental accounts. Just observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. Now, following are the figures extracted from the book of Jigisa Stores Limited. So, one store with common ownership, common roof. There are three departments A, B and C. All the three departments are allocated space for its operation. Say for example, department A is given one fourth space, B is given one fourth space, C is given one half space. So, 50% space under common roof is given to C, 25% to department A, 25% of department B. And, all, and at this location, Department A, Department B and Department C operates its operating activity and you are given their operating details, opening stock, closing stock, purchase less return, sales less return, wages. So these are the specific purchase, sales, wages, stock details of Department A. This is of Department B, same way you are given for Department C. So these are the goods transferred from A to B, A to C, B to A, B to C, C to A, C to B. These are the transfers. Transfer of goods from department A to B, A to C, etc. is given. That is also required to be considered while preparing trading and profit and loss account. Following expenses are allocated equally. So there are common expenses. Common expenses means expenses which are incurred for all the departments together. Say for example, telephone charges 3000. Now how to distribute telephone charges? For that, management has taken a policy decision that telephone expenses should be distributed equally. Insurance, equally distri equal distribution. Office expenses, equal distribution. So all these three expenses are to be distributed equally. That is decided by the management as per their policy. Rent 24,000 is to be divided in proportion of the space occupied. So rent will be distributed between three departments in the proportion of the area occupied. Discount allowed and bad debts will be distributed amongst three departments in the proportion of their sale. Income tax will be distributed between three departments on the basis of the income net profit that they have earned. Legal expenses are specifically for department, so no need to distribute. This is how you are given the information with which you are supposed to prepare trading and profit and loss account. Let us start with that. So here I prepare Columbus. Trading account and profit and loss account combined. So departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year ended on 31st of December 2017. First let me record the transfer. Goods from department A. So department A is the giver. Credit the giver. Department B is the receiver. Debit the receiver. Now actually department A, department B and department C are under the common ownership. Goods are transferred from A to B or A to C. The legal ownership in substance do not change. But for accounting purpose, the accounting entities are created. One accounting entity identified as Department A. Second accounting entity identified as Department B. Third accounting entity identified as Department C. And transfer occurs to them. Then transfer. Debit the receiver entity. Credit the giver entity. But remember... In substance, there is no change in legal ownership by transfer of goods from B to C or C to A or A to B. There is no transfer of legal ownership that you should understand. But even then, the receiver entity is to be debited, giver entity is to be credited. So from department A, B is the receiver, debit the receiver. A is the giver, credit the giver. So... To transfer from department A to B. By transfer to department B. Now A in A's column transfer to B. This is how the narration is recorded. Now C is the receiver, debit the receiver. A is the giver, credit the giver. Transfer to department C from A. Goods transferred from B to A. A is the receiver. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. So here to transfer from B to A. By transfer to 
department day 5000 this is how it gets recorded it's very important to write all these things notice it now transfer from departments b to c c is the receiver b is the giver transfer from c to a a is the receiver c is the giver transfer from c to b b is the receiver c is the giver this is how transfer of goods at cost is being recorded the receiver entity trading account is debited giver entity trading account is to be credited now after recording these things next adjustment information the following expenses are allocated equally telephone expenses insurance and office expenses they are to be distributed equally so telephone charges if you distribute equally that is 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio so 1000 1000 is 3000 divided by 3 1000 is a share of each department that will be debited to the profit and loss account of each department similar insurance charges 6000 distributed equally 1 is to 1 is to 1 2000 is a share of each department debited to the profit and loss account of A, B and C so insurance expenses distributed equal proportion office expense is 9000 also distributed equally 1 is to 1 is to 1 so 3000, 3000, 3000 debited to profit and loss account now rent 25%, 25%, 50% so ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 2 because area occupied is this much this is the proportion in which the area is occupied so 24,000 distributed in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 2 so 1 fourth of 24,000, 6,000, 6,000 and double of 6,000, 12,000 that is also debited to profit and loss account this is how distribution of expenses occurred as per the policy now this is the details that you are supposed to write Department A sales, A, B, C and sales, minus sales return. So whatever the net sales that I get, that I will write to the credit side of trading profit and trading account. The ratio of these sales is 6, 2 is 12, 6, 3 is 18. So 1 is to 2 is to 3 is the ratio. In this ratio, Discount allowed gets distributed appropriate ratio because discount is allowed to the customers. Customers are customers are the person to whom the goods have been sold. So discount is distributed in the proportion of sales. So 18,000, 1 is to 2 is to 3. Discount allowed debited to profit and loss account in sales proportion, 3,000, 6,000, 9,000. Legal expenses are for department A's, so it will be debited to department A's profit and loss account legal expenses. Bad debt distributed in the proportion of sales. That is 1 is to 2 is to 3, 15,000 distributed in the proportion of 1 is to 2 is to 3. So 2,500, 25 twos are 50, 25 threes are 75. Debited to profit and loss account bad debts in proportion of sales. So this is how these expenses are distributed. Only left is income tax that I will distribute in the proportion of income net profit that I will find after closing profit and loss account now purchases less return debited to trading account less return 20,000, 10,000, 30,000 so net purchases are found out in working note and debited to trading account 770,000 Wages debited to trading account, opening stock debited to trading account, closing stock credited to trading account. Now all information is considered, only one thing is left that is distribution of income tax. So let me find out the gross profit total of credit side. The same total I write on the debit side. So 7 lakh 10,000 minus all these expenses you will get the gross profit so this is the gross profit of department A, department B, department C that is credited to profit and loss account 4 lakh 28,000 minus these expenses so I will get the net profit 
826,000 minus expenses for department B. I'll get a net profit of department B. So this is our profit before tax is worked out. That is transferred to the credit side of the lower part of profit and loss account here. The income tax will be distributed in this proportion. So income tax 63,000. 3 lakh 86,500, 8 lakh 3,000. So this is the total profit on that tax is 63,000. So 63,000 multiplied by 3 lakh 86,500 divided by 20, 1 lakh 21,000. You will get the tax to be debited against the income of department A. Department B, same way. Tax is distributed. For department C, 63,000 into 9,31,500 divided by 21 lakh. 21,000. So this is a tax distributed, income tax distributed between three departments. Now you get the profit after tax. So 386,500 minus 428,000. I'm sorry, 386,500 minus 11,480. Same way, this is the net profit that has been worked out for department B and C. This is how this sum gets solved. This is a basic sum. I have tried to explain you the basic concept of departmental accounting. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to